So day two of our article starts by getting straight into another way to decrease stress. It says, "Go outside." To explain this a little more, it adds, "The beauty of nature is a great stress reliever." Now let's take a look at that word beauty, B E A U T Y. Beauty. It's a noun, and it is today's first word power word. So the word beauty is talking about a quality that people or places or things have that makes them very attractive to look at. It's the noun form of the adjective beautiful. So here's an example: Paris is famous around the world for its beauty. Paris is famous around the world for its beauty. Beauty and the Beast. You know that song, right?、Mm -hmm. Beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word beauty is a noun, which is beauty. So, the word Beautiful girls all over the world. 世上到处都是美女。那形容人很美的时候，除了 beautiful， 你也可以用 pretty 或者是 good looking。那至于课文的 the beauty of nature， 就是大自然之美。So the article says beauty. Is a stress reliever. Yep, that is right, and that means it relieves stress. To relieve, R E L I E V E, relieve something means to make pain, distress, or difficulty become less severe or serious. For example, we take medicine to relieve the pain of a headache. To relieve stress is the same idea as decreasing stress. So it makes it go away. It makes it get lower. And we can call something a stress reliever if it relieves or decreases stress. Yeah. So relieve is a verb. It means to relieve or decrease stress. So you can relieve stress,、mm -hmm. relieve pain,、mm -hmm. or relieve. Itching, 就是哦，让你自己不要那么痒一点。那刚刚 Pat 老师所说的 ，when you have a headache， 你头痛的时候、uh, ，you can take medicine to relieve the pain， 就是吃药来减缓疼痛。那 relieve 加上个 er 就会变成名词。So medicine is a pain reliever， 就是头痛药就是你的疼痛的缓解剂。Here's more on going outside. The article says try hiking in the mountains, walking in a park, or going on a fishing trip. So let's take a look at the verb hike, which was one of those ideas. It's H I K E hike, and it is our next word power word for today. To hike means to take a long walk. Usually in the mountains or in the countryside. It could be through a city, but we'd normally say a walk for that. Hike usually means in real outside city nature. Here's an example: Esther plans to spend a year hiking around Europe. Esther plans to spend a year hiking around Europe. Hike is a verb, meaning to take a long walk, to take a long walk. 所以刚刚例句就是 Esther 预计花一年的时间在欧洲四处践行。那我们一般所说的爬山就是 hiking in the mountains。那 climb the mountains, C L I M B, climb mountains， 爬山这种爬山是比较具有挑战性的那种登山活动。So you would say climb Mount Everest，、mm -hmm. 就是爬圣母峰 ，not hike in Mount Everest。No。Okay, so one of the other examples given was going on a fishing trip, and a fishing trip is when you go usually with some friends to a lake or a river, maybe even the sea, where the fishing is good. You stay there for a while catching fish. You could even go out on a boat and do the same thing. The idea isn't to catch loads of fish like a job. 
but to relax with friends outside, enjoy nature, do something fun, and just get away from the stressful things in your life. Yeah. So, going on a fish trip. 就是或者是 go fishing， 就是说你和三五好友去河边呐、啊，湖边钓鱼，那它是一种很轻松的休闲活动。Fish 原本是指鱼，但是当动词的时候指钓鱼，或者是钓任何水中生物都可以用 fish 这个字哦。所以比方说钓虾，我们就可以说 fishing shrimp。Yeah, shrimp fishing. That's、oh. uh, what's great fun. Have you tried that? Well, actually, no. No,、oh, I should. It's great. Anyway. Another good reason to go outside, as the article says, is that getting some fresh air will relieve. There's that word again. Relieve your stress in no time. Okay, we also saw this interesting phrase there. In no time, and in no time just means really quickly. Yeah, in no time is 立马，那它就等于 immediately. I m m e d i a t e l e. So, L Y immediately. Sorry, immediately. L Y. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, 呼吸一些新鲜空气可以让你立刻的减缓压力，立刻减缓压力 Relieve your stress in no time, 或者是 relieve your pressure immediately. Okay. Time to move on to our next stress reliever. The article says. Do your favorite things, and these are just the things you enjoy the most. So, you still feel stressed? Listen to your favorite songs. To 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 listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. To listen to your favorite songs. To listen to your favorite things. Let's take a look at that word hobby. H o b b y, hobby. We used it in the plural form with i e s, hobbies. But either way, it is our next word power word. A hobby is an activity that you enjoy doing in your free time. So we could say Sam's hobbies are running and playing the guitar. Sam's hobbies are running and playing the guitar. Hobby 不是 hobby 人哦 ，hobby 是个名词，指嗜好的意思。所以刚刚的例句是 Sam 的兴趣是跑步跟弹吉他。那 some people collect stamps as a hobby， 就是有些人的嗜好就是收集邮票。Because collecting stamps can make them feel calm,、mm-hmm. 就是收集邮票的时候可以让他们感到很放松、很平静。那 hobby 做复数的时候要记得要去 y 加 i e s 哦。So what are your hobbies, Pat? Well, my main ones are writing and acting,、mm. but I also enjoy watching soccer and cricket and reading.、Mm, cool. How about you? Well, I enjoy playing the guitar and writing songs.、Oh. Watching movies is one of my favorite hobbies too. Okay, back to the article, which says they, your hobbies,、mm-hmm. can also help decrease your stress.、Mm. To decrease our stress, we can laugh, sleep more, exercise, or do anything that makes us happy.、Mm. Is that all the ways of decreasing stress? No,、nope. we have one more.、Mm. The article says use. Tools for relieving stress.、Mm, tools. Hmm. 什么样的工具可以让我们减缓压力呢 ？What kinds of tools? Maybe a hammer that you hit the stressful person with. Um. Maybe are not. Are you sure? Well, maybe you want to hit someone who causes you stress. But there you go. Really, what we mean, as the article explains, you can squeeze. St- Special stress balls. That's a tongue tweezer. You can <laughs> squeeze special stress balls if you have a lot of stress. In fact,、mm-hmm. say that sentence ten times.、Squeeze. You will laugh,、Jeez. and that will reduce your stress. Oh, definitely. So squeeze special stress balls. To squeeze, and that's S Q U E E Z E. Squeeze means to firmly press something with your hands and fingers. Often, so you change its shape with the force you're using. You can also squeeze things like fruit to get the juice out. Yeah, so squeeze 就是挤的意思 You can squeeze a ball, 压一颗球或者是 squeeze lemonade from fresh lemons. 就是用新鲜的柠檬来挤柠檬汁或者是 squeeze some time. 就是时间和乳垢一样挤挤就有 So. 
A stress ball is a ball you squeeze. Stress ball squeeze.、Mm. And when you do it, it makes you feel better. That's right. The article also says it's also fun to pop bubble wrap to relieve stress.、Oh, yes. Bubble wrap, and that's two words: b u b b l e, bubble wrap, w r a p, wrap. This is a kind of packing material that uses a plastic sheet full of tiny air bubbles. To pop them means to squeeze them until the bubbles break and the air comes out. You could also say pop a balloon, though you'd have to use something sharp for that, or pop your zits. But that's not a good idea. Nah, I used to be crazy about bubble wraps. Bubble 就是泡泡，那 wrap 就是包装 ，so bubble wrap 就是防撞、防摔用的那种透明气泡纸。那 pop 它是一个动词，是打破或是。爆的意思。So popping things can be really relaxing. 就听到东西，我不不不那种声音，就觉得啊，好舒压、哦。So you can pop bubbles on bubble wraps. 挤气泡纸，泡泡，或者是 pop balloons， 就是打破气球吧。或者是 pop your zits， 就挤痘痘。Or pop some corn， 就是去爆些米花。And you'll have popcorn， 爆米花 to eat. Yep, and now we're getting to the conclusion of the article, which says, if you feel worried, try some of these methods. That word method, M E T H O D, method is a noun, and it's our last word power word of the day. Let's check it out. A method is just a particular way of doing something. It, we could also say a way to do something. So method and way are pretty similar. So here's an example. This teacher uses many different methods to teach English in her class. This teacher uses many different methods to teach English in her class. Method 是一个名词，就是方法的意思。那它也就等于 way, w a y。那刚刚例句就是这位老师在他的课堂上用许多不同的方式来教授英文。那分享了这么多舒压的小技巧，以后感到心烦意乱的时候，你就可以 try some of these useful methods, these useful ways， 就是试试看这些有用的方法，或者是 try some of these tricks， 就是试试这些小技巧 tricks, t r i c k. The article finishes by saying, "Then say goodbye to stress." 好啦，我们现在终于可以跟压力说拜拜喽。And that brings us to the end of the article. And now it's time for today's magic box, and we will come back for review time.